for the Totally Awesome Fishing Show DIY section. Now, here's one for the ladies as well. Have you ever had a waste pipe that's blocked? Have you ever asked your husband to unblock it? Do you get this sort of response? Graham, come away from that television. My sink is blocked. You think I've got time to unblock a sink? The football's on, it's my team. What do you say with that woman? Can Graham, I, I need you, my sink is blocked. No, too late, they've started, they've started. Oh, come on, come on, kick off. Ah, ah, they're growing on me. They can't get them off. Oh, I have to stay on. That was a penalty for a start. Absolutely, you see that ref? Well, that's not the sort of response you want, ladies. You want to be able to do it yourself, as they say. You don't need a pair of fishermen's chest waders, ladies. Why would you want these? These are for salmon fishermen and trout fishermen. Do you know what? You don't even need that man watching the football. This is all you need. All you need is a plunger and a wire thingy. It's all springy and bendy. I'll show you what that does in a minute. Meanwhile, leave your man to that football match because his team are going to lose anyway to be very unhappy. He's never going to clean your waste. Do it yourself. Meanwhile, I'm going to get out of my rubbers and I'll give you a few tips. Now then, sooner or later, everybody has to call the plumber. And listen, if you have a leak and you can't fix it yourself, especially if you're on a first, second or 24th floor flat or bigger of the Empire State Building, water always does one thing. It goes down. So if you're in a flat and you've got a leak, definitely call the plumber. This might just save you calling out a plumber for a very minor blockage. Okay, these are the regular plungers, which everybody's seen in the funny fields. Those sort of things. Very cheap to buy, probably a couple of pounds, few dollars, nothing. Um, you're going to plunge up and down like that, but the, but the secret, the real tip is, get a wet rag and cover up the overflow to increase the suction. Fill up the sink first, let me show you how it's done. This is my spare bedroom. This is a le en suite spare bedroom that my wife never has any friends to use, but nevertheless we've got it, so this is going to be a clean sink. I'm using this one purely as a demonstration model. Let's fill it up. So we're just going to let this water fill up in there. Now, the overflow is just there. I mean, we've got a head cam on to help you ladies know how to do this. But you don't have to wear a head cam, I'll do it for you. There is a little hole, which if it fills up, I'll show you, it does actually overflow. So ladies, don't do this and then go and watch the beauty show on television, because it's going to overflow and the volume coming out of the tap might exceed the volume that goes down that overflow hole, in which case you're going to have not a block drain, but you're going to have a swimming pool. Now, that just there is just starting to trickle over there, and what I'm going to do is just pull this out carefully. Watch this, out she comes. It starts going down slowly. I put the plunger over the top. Now most of the time, people just plunge up and down like this and you'll hear the gurgly noise. Hear that noise? That's not, that's not the proper noise. This is the proper noise. Put the rag over the hole, pushing it in, wet rag. Oh, oh, different noise. Totally different noise. Like this, up and down slowly. Should break any rubbishes down in that waste pipe bed up to the surface. It doesn't make that noise, and you get a really big suction pullback. Really big. Now, this is the spare bedroom one where nobody only ever comes, only at Christmas. And this one is pretty clear. Now, I'll do another test. Plug in, fill up water, use cold water. Don't use all your hot water. No need to, because you're only going to have to pay to have it all heated up again. Fill it up again, and again you can see, ladies, the overflow. Keep away from that beauty channel, that makeup channel when you're doing this. Don't just say, oh my God, they got some new nail varnish. 
you need this running, it's going to run over there. Close it off. Plug out. This is the noise it makes. Normally, block it up. Much, much bigger suction. And you can give this a really good stoking. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the kitchen now. You get the idea of how it's going to work. Oh, there's bits coming out already, see? Now what happens, because this one is not used that much, all the rubbish, which you can just see bits and pieces there, it dries in there. And it makes it extra hard to get out. Give it a good old suction. That's good. Now look how fast that goes down and there's the nasty yucky bits going down. Okay, here's a kitchen sink. Now you'd think this one would be blocked the most because you've got vegetables being cleaned, bits of food, plates being washed off before they go to the dishwasher. But in fact, because it has such a huge amount of water going through the system, it's usually not too bad at all. But you can alleviate a lot of the problems by getting one of these. I have no idea what's in there. I don't do the cooking in this house, but as you can see, it's pretty yucky. Oh. Yeah, the things I do for YouTube. It's a mesh, sort of saucer shape thing, and that just sits in the sink plug hole, and as you can see, catches the worst of everything. That will save you major blockages. Now, most sink waste pipe outlets like this do have little cross pieces, you know, to stop the major bits going down the drain. If a big piece goes down the drain, you really have got some problems. It's got a couple of pieces. So, invest in one of these, I'm going to put this in the rubbish bin because it is really yucky. And then I'll show you what comes out here, plunge in this one. So same thing, you're going to fill this sink up quite a bit. There's a deep, I think they call this one a Belfast sink, and it has a big overflow at the top right up here. So get it filled about a quarter full before you start with the plunger. Okay, turn the cold water off. Take your plunger. I'm going to pull the plug out here and cover it immediately with a rubber seal of the plunger. Basically, it slows the water up going down. Again, to illustrate, by audible means, it ain't doing nothing. However, wet your rag, put it over this wide vent here at the back, stop that air sucking back down there, watch and listen and there we go and hopefully enjoy and just look at the mud coming out here you should be able to see that plunging it up and down up and down like this look at that coming out that coming all out this is my new word residue it's the residue coming out of the base the base of the waste pipe S-Bend, P-Trap, there's various different shapes. I'll show you in a minute. Give it a really good whacking up and down. But you can see there, if I take this off, it's just, it's extremely noisy, but it does nothing. So jam that and cover it, don't lose it down there. Do this three or four times, and occasionally put it right back hard to clear it like this. And you will see I can hear that in fact. There's a little vortex where it's actually now cleared all this rubbish and gunk out of there, sucking it down there. And if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, I do believe it goes anti-clockwise down the sink plug hole. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it goes the other way around the plug hole. Well, maybe. That's just got another plug hole. Look at the bits and pieces, all clear. Rinse it down. Now ladies, how easy was that? And do you know what? His team still haven't scored in that football. Just thing we can do. And there's the bathroom. There's my daughter's bathroom. There's my son's bathroom. Let's check them out because some of those could be absolutely horrific. Okay, I've got my little handy cam on the head. You've seen what's actually happened to the sink. It's clean downstairs, the main kitchen one, where the cooking's done. This one is my son's bathroom. I don't even want to know what goes on in here. As you can see, there's a lot of male accoutrements there. Um, obviously, one has to keep one's 
self perfectly groomed, unlike me, at 60, I don't need to be groomed, do I? We're gonna do this one, different type of plug here, it's not a sink on a chain, so you'll pop up one, but you can take that out. I'll just show you, come over here, watch this carefully. There we go, let's get right in on the action. Now this one here is a pop-up, goes up and down with a, a lever here, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now sometimes the seal on these doesn't drain properly, and I don't know that you can see that there. There's a little rubber seal around of that, and that little crisscross mesh there is to stop bits of junk going down there, because this is a hole, there's one T-bar down there across, across the spout to stop big pieces going down, but stuff like very nice diamond rings and whatever, if you got them, will go down, they will stay down there, and they'll block the drains out properly. But this has an adjusting screw as well, so if this sits too high on the lever and keeps draining your, your water out, you can drop it down again by making adjustments on this screw and then retightening with the nut. So slacken that nut off, adjust the screw here, just there, That's, there's the nut, there's the screw. This pushes it up and down and lets that bed on a little lever that comes up and down and this plunger and it goes down like that and you fill it. So away we go, let's fill this one up. Much smaller basin. But the thing in here is, is the male accoutrements that go down this sink. Shampoos, conditioners, sprays, goodness knows, toothpaste, everything. I fear something nasty is going to show his head here. I'm going to fill up a little bit more. That's it. Now there again is your overflow that we're going to have to block. I've moved all the perfumery to one side, here we go. Now these ones, push a lever and it pops up, and immediately the water goes down, pull it out, replace it with the plunger. That slows the water going down, block it up, and let's see what goodies come out of this one. Oh my god, I don't know what that stuff is coming out there, but it's not good at all. Now I've done these about six weeks ago. If I keep plunging like this, it creates an upward and downward motion of water. It's generally going to think, forget with a sink, the water's going to run straight down. This way it's pulling the water back up. It's loosening all those particles of residue on the side. And if I just stop plunging for a second, you'll see there's some nasty bits, very nasty bits floating around in there. I don't want to know what they are, but this is going to go down so much quicker with a little plunger like this. There we go. Whoosh. And in fact, I just noticed then it did go down anti-clockwise. So if you're in the southern hemisphere, it's going to go down clockwise. One more quick plunge. And one final flash through. Turn it off. Get your plunger ready, pop the sink out, put the plunger straight over, make sure that doesn't go anywhere, cover up that vent hole, that overflow, and give it a right a good seeing too. Oh, it's still a bit coming out there. Now that swishy motion finally clear all those bits off the side of the pipe. So that will go down. And I'll tell you another tip I've done, a little bit of washing up if we doesn't hurt going down here. I'm telling you that, huh? And that's what I do, and it helps you to slide down the drain. Oh, no. Yeah. Perfecto. But if you think this one was bad, I don't know how to tell you. My lovely 25 year old daughter can put more cosmetic stuff on her than anybody known to man or God, I should think. The stuff that goes down that waste pipe is unbelievable. Let's take a look at it. Okay, here we go. There's a little pop-up plunger, pull the lever. Put it on cold, let's pull the sink up. I think we're even gonna get a second hit out of this one. This is a good one. This is a goodie, this one. There we go, now listen. Nothing. Cover that hole up with a wet rag, major suction, give it a good seal to it, and it's still coming up, oh goodness me, 
Whatever has she been putting on her body? Now, ladies, if you go through all your sinks, all your drains, your showers, everywhere, you can see that you can do this. And as I said, he's sitting there watching the football match and there's still no score for his team. Meanwhile, you've got the satisfaction of plunging your own sinks. <laughs> Just look at that. I'm not even going to put the underwater camera in there. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Down the hole you go. Well, there you go, ladies. You've got nearly everything done, haven't you? No. What about the shower? My daughter's shower, who has long hair, sometimes gets hair down the shower. Now, a lot of shower waste out. Let's have a little twiddly piece you can take it out, and they are hair stoppers, basically. But hair doesn't rot down like other sort of biodegradable matter. It stays a long, long time. So, a lot of those soaps, detergents, hair shampoos, conditioners, la di da di da all stick to that hair, clog it all up. So, one place you're going to get real clog ups, the showers. Let's check it out. It's not going to be pretty again. Okay, here we have the daughter's shower. Now, as you can see here, down at the bottom, there is no sink plug in the shower for obvious reasons, but you can take out the little bit that stops the uh, rubbish going down there, although it will still go down there, and inside there's normally, this one's been busted before, a little lever and a plunge that you can pop out and you know it stops a lot of hair going down there. So I'm going to take this out because it's going to come out anyway. I should place the rubber seal of this over the top of the hole there. I've got my little dishcloth thing ready. Fill it up, I guess about two inches. Now shower trays are normally shallow, so you, you've got to have water in there, obviously to plunge it properly and clear that waste. But if there's hair down there, we're gonna see it. I'm gonna fill it up, close the door. <laughs> Over there, fill up a second, and then we're gonna go pa 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 plunging. Okay, people, that should be about enough. Turn it off. You can see, even though the hole's open there, the rim of the plunger is holding it. I need to keep that because I know sometimes it gets a muck around the edge. And plunge, but don't let it make a little wave that's gonna come over the edge of the bar. OMG. Now every now and then I'll give it a good hard flick to pull out all this <sighs> yuck stuff. It doesn't bother me at all, right? I think I'll go for it if I like a nice clean grain. Look at that stuff there, feast your eyes on it. That is well on the way towards a blockage. Let's give that another go. As you can see all these bits here, are all residues left over from the soap, detergents, and other stuff that uh, my daughter uses, as do a lot of women, obviously. You ladies use a lot of uh, cosmetic stuff. So you need to be aware that all this residue, my favorite word residue, is going to accumulate and stick to the side of the waste pipe. Get it out. Once a month is a good time to do this. Maybe six weeks, two months, two months if you want, you know. So now look at the difference between the spare room, which really rarely gets used too much, and one that's used a lot. Even more than the sink in the kitchen. Just look at that There we have it. Totally plunged, and you can see it. Zoom in down the hole, and indeed it is going anti-clockwise. Now, use your shower, get the rest of that residue down, down the sink. This is a thick shower, so it should wash all around here, that's why I keep the cloth as well. On we go, close the doors. That's better. Get rid. Now, just while I'm doing a second rinse on this one, two more tips for you ladies. Makes life really easy. 
at the top. The rose, as we call it, the rose, can get blocked basically with hard water. And also the inside of the shower screens, you get a smear on them if you just get out of the shower and just clear off and that's the end of that and leave all the droplets on there. Then you have to come back in about three weeks and get all the special solvents again to clean all that off. Saves yourself a lot of time by just giving this a little clean up here. And you can do it even, well, ladies won't do it with the nails because they're going to break the nails, but you could get something like a, a teaspoon and just rub it gently, gently backwards and forwards across the top of the rose here, across the head, and you'll knock off little bits of, well, it's basically just where the hard water residue comes, lime scale. Um, you can get sprays, but again, I'm trying to avoid putting more chemicals down there. Um, so what's going to happen up here, I'll show you this now, it's important. Okay, now just look at this shower here, where the water's coming off the side. What's happening is, this is all getting clogged up there. So you get a little teaspoon, just like this, and just gently rub it back to the forward, you don't have to scratch everything, and it just breaks off some of the pieces. Because what happens is all those jets come straight down and one's going to go shooting off and when you're all dry it's horrible getting wet and you get one shooting off to the side and it could come out the door. So all these holes will start to block up. I haven't done this for a couple of months so they're, they're probably blocked up with lime scale or you can use nail brush. Just give it a good squirt. Let's turn that around. There you see it a bit better properly. Give that a good squirt off there gets rid of all that lime scale because what happens that lime scale will make the holes block up more and more and that will increase the pressure in the back of this head and it will split the edge of this that will bow out under pressure eventually split so it's much cheaper just to clean that off just keep that but once every two months you can you can spray some chemicals on it you know which is the um, the solvents for uh, lime scale removers but you can do it this way as well now when I turn it back on hopefully I won't get wet it should go straight down. Oh man, sweet, sweet, absolutely perfect, doesn't come off the sides at all, all those jets of water are coming straight down. Easy tip for you, again, thank you for calling out the floor. So everybody comes out of the shower and do they clean it? Possibly not. They want to get done up, they want to get themselves woo woo woo, and they want to hit the bars and hit the streets and just get out there who can play them. But sooner or later, that lime scale is going to be on there really hard and it's going to want some cleaning then, I can assure you. So what I suggest is using one of these little car wipes with a little rubber lip on them, like a windscreen wiper. That's all you need. You're in the shower, switch it off, all the droplets all over the screen. Get yourself one of these and just start at the top, work your way down. It's nice and soft, all the droplets will run down. It's smooth. Leave the doors a little bit open. That's all done then, it's clean. You don't really have to clean it more than about once every two months then. One of these saves a hell of a lot of work, ladies. And it's football team. Still haven't scored a goal yet. That's gone down now, that's all okay. I just, one final thing, show you ladies the ends of the waste pipe where you can also have some problems. Okay, we're coming down from the sink. This is below the plug hole, the waste outlet. And as you can see there, this is down from where your plug is, that's your plug mounting. It's all screwed up. Now sometimes you can get a leak down here as well, but if you get a bad blockage, it's in this little U-bend here. It could be a U-trap, P-trap, S-trap. There's loads of different configurations of these that you can have. And these can be undone, and you can undo that there, that there, and slide it all off. And then you can flush all this out, because here, it's water. There's always water sitting here, which stops the smell coming from up in the sink this way. So a lot of people don't realise that, but the water lays in the bottom of this, and that stops the smell coming up into your bathroom. Otherwise, the bathroom would reek absolutely with drains. I've got one of these I can just show you. Um, I think it's worth looking at in case you do get a blockage. You can't move with a plunger or the wire thingamy, thingamy, thingamy jig. Okay, now this is one normally sit on my daughter's bathroom floor and it's obviously very wet now because I've been plunging around here. That's just a standard trap, so it comes down from the sink here. It's attached via that nut there. But you may well notice there's what we call an O-ring there. 
So if you continually get leaks, just dribble leaks coming out of there, you can replace these for pennies, for cents, for next to nothing. Replace that seal, push it up, pinch it up, and that should stop it going, well, any more really. Now, just to give you an idea, there's going to be water, don't forget, in the bottom of this. So you can undo it, do the twist, pop it off. As you can see, it's a right angle there. And there's the little U-bend. And again, all of these joints have got these O-rings on them. This is just an old one I've got just to show you. So replace those, because very often you'll get a dribble leak here. Not necessarily for doing the plunging, just a leak anyway, but you'll see it on the bottom. Uh, of a shelf underneath there and this will happen you come down you're going to come down through that sink plug with this wire and it's going to go down and you can work away and plunge away and watch it goes right way around the bend and i'll just show you i'll get enough of it in there oh there you go now that as you can see goes right up and down and that will actually because it's soft go that way as well and you can just twist it at the same time and it will eventually, I'll just show you there, there it is, I'll screw that back together for you so you get an idea, just like that. So from inside where the plug is, I hope the wings come off, it goes right down, right through, around the bend and up out there, but it goes all the way through and then of course you can pull it all the way out. So these little wire gizmos are quite handy if you've got a real big blockage. After that, if it still isn't clear, one thing to do, I'm afraid, bite the bullet, call the plumber. Don't call me, don't call me, call the plumber. I've got one more thing in that bathroom. I hope there's been some tips for you, but I've got to clear that blockage in that bathroom, that first bath. Something serious is blocking it up. Thanks for watching. Keep looking at the totally awesome fishing show tips section. Household tips, do it yourself. Hopefully you've learned something. Yeah. Well, I got the blockage, but what the heck is that? You know what worries me, folks? I don't have a bath in here. And I was working out the other night. And my best friend Bill likes shooting and uses ducks.